laparoscopic gastropexy reduces gastric dilatation volvulus, also known as GDV, or bloating in large breed dogs. Many large chested dogs are prone to a digestive disorder called GDV or bloat. The condition occurs when the dog's stomach fills with gas and twists, cutting off blood and oxygen to the stomach. This condition is extremely painful and if not treated urgently will result in death. Gastric bloating primarily affects the following large breed dogs. Consequences of not addressing gastric bloating can be devastating. Studies show dogs with gastric bloat that don't undergo a gastropexy have recurrence rates of more than 70% and a mortality rate of 80%. Prophylactic gastropexy surgery is recommended by many veterinarians. This procedure attaches the stomach to the abdominal wall to prevent twisting of the stomach. Many pet owners choose to have this procedure performed at the same time of a spay or neuter. This procedure can be performed using minimally invasive techniques that offer the patient the following. Decreased anesthesia time, smaller incisions that reduce risk of infection, less scarring and pain postoperatively, quicker return to normal activity. This procedure is frequently performed as an outpatient procedure. This procedure can be performed during a spay or neuter procedure. The following procedure video demonstrates a laparoscopic gastropexy. An overview of the Vetovation surgical system follows the procedure video. Vetovation would like to thank Dr. Cindy Eward for demonstrating her technique for a completely laparoscopic gastropexy. Triangle Veterinary Referral Hospital is located in Durham, North Carolina. Dexter is a five-year-old previously castrated Doberman. As seen here, he is prepped wide from the xiphoid cartilage to the brim of the pubis. He is then positioned in a dorsal recumbent position. Dr. Eward recommends marking the gastropexy location prior to scrubbing the patient. This helps to identify the appropriate pexy location once the abdomen has been insufflated with CO2. This technique is also described by Dr. Clarence Rawlings. The location is approximately 3 to 5 centimeters caudal to the last rib. The camera port is a 5 millimeter low profile vetovation trocar. A modified Hassan technique is utilized. As seen here, Dr. Eward is dissecting down to the linea alba, then placing two stitches into the linea. Hemostats are then placed on the stitches to help retract the abdominal wall away, away anteriorly. The abdomen is then safely entered with a 5 millimeter trocar. The abdomen is filled with CO2 and a 5 mm 30 degree laparoscope is introduced. The abdomen is surveyed. A 10 mm port is then placed under direct visualization from the camera. The port enters the abdomen left lateral to the falciform ligament and then is passed through the falciform ligament directed towards the location of the stomach. Another 5 mm trocar is introduced under direct visualization in the lower right quadrant. A 5 mm vetovation babcock is used to grasp near the antral region of the stomach. This location is frequently described midway between the mesenteric and the anti-mesenteric sides, approximately 5 to 7 cm oral to the pylorus. Once a firm grasp is placed on the stomach, it is elevated towards the pexy location. Two sutures are placed percutaneously to hold the stomach in place during the gastropexy. A laparoscopic bovi hook that attaches to a standard electrocautery handle is introduced. We recommend lowering your electrocautery settings during the incision into the abdominal wall. A 5 cm incision is made in the abdominal wall, then a 5 cm partial thickness seromuscular incision is made along the long axis of the stomach.
The Cavidian endostitch with a V-lock PBT non-absorbable suture is used to perform the PEXI. The endostitch automates passing a needle through tissue during suturing. When combining the endostitch with the V-lock, barbed suture not tying is eliminated. The suture is 20 centimeters in length with a loop on the non-needle end. Sutures come in individual packages that make loading simple. With the V-lock technology, tension on the suture line is evenly distributed across the gastropexy. Placing stitches is simplified by toggling the endostitch handle. External palpation with your non-dominant hand during abdominal wall stitch placement increases visualization and stitch placement. Once the first stitch is placed, it is then passed through the loop on the distal end of the V-lock suture. This creates an anchor for the suture line. Once again, suturing is simplified through toggling the handle back and forth on the endostitch to pass the needle through the tissue. This is similar to a sewing machine. As stitches are placed into the abdominal wall, external palpation facilitates the process. As observed, a 5 cm gastropexy is created with this minimally invasive technique. Pictures are taken to share with the client and for medical records. The laparoscopic trocar ports are closed in the standard fashion. If you are a veterinarian and would like to make a referral for this procedure, please contact Triangle Veterinary Referral Hospital at area code 919-489-0615. For additional information on the equipment utilized or to learn more about introducing this technology into your practice, please visit www.vetovation.com or call 919-247-0328. Vetovation provides affordable, minimally invasive equipment along with an innovative video otoscope technology. Vetovation has created the laparoscopic gastropexy kit that provides your practice all the instruments shown in the video today. Vetovation offers the only line of vessel sealing technology 
that can be steam autoclaved during sterilization. For hospitals that have access to ETO gas sterilization, we also have a vessel sealing technology that has the largest jaw aperture on the market. Many practices performing laparoscopy utilize a tilt table to rotate the patient during laparoscopic procedures. This rotation enables gravity to assist getting the viscera you don't want to operate on out of your way and the anatomy right where it needs to be. For training on the equipment, please visit Vetovation or contact us at 919-247-0328.